Brian Pfeiffer here, marketingmeathead.com, and today I'm going to talk about the Shopify bestseller hack. All right, welcome back. We talk about everything online on how to make money on this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, bang that notifications bell, and moon up this like uh, on the video here today. All right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, Shopify stores and how to look at the uh, the best selling items on the people's stores. Okay, and then I'm also going to show you a trick if you have a Shopify store, so people can't do it to you. <laughs> so it's kind of a pretty cool thing here. All right, so. When you find a store in your niche or whatever, uh, you can do a couple little tricks. You can do like, uh, you can just go to the Google search bar here and you can type in like, say you're in the dog niche, you want to go dogs, find the stores with dogs, and then you push, put um, plus my, my Shopify.com. Okay. And, uh, this should pull up a bunch of different uh, dog stores and whatnot. Okay, so oops, I must have spelled something wrong, and I did. There we go. All right, so there's a bunch here uh, that have like doggy uh, whatnot in in it. So you can take like this store, and if they haven't done the little trick, I'm going to show you later. This is doggy market. You're going to take this code here. And I'll scroll down here so you can see what I'm pasting in. And I'll put this uh, in my blog post, which I'll link to in the, um, I'll put this in the blog post, which I'll link to in the description. And I'll have the code that you're going to need for both these things, okay? And if we click on this, it should show the best sellers. It looks like they might have uh, the actual code on there. Oh, no, there we go. Finally came up. So here's all the best selling products on this store. Okay, just by putting in this little piece of code here. This is the same thing you could find on a Commerce Inspector here. You can go to the best sellers. It does the same thing. It just adds a snippet of code and it pulls up the best sellers from that store. Okay, now if you, so that's that's the hack to get to the best sellers. Um, Commerce Inspector, this is a, a plugin. It's a pay, there's a free version, which is, uh, doesn't really show you that much here. You can see, uh, you can look at the, um, the, the products and whatnot it doesn't really tell you all that much stuff until you pay the actual paid version you can actually look at the traffic here it takes you over to uh, similar web you can see here just just as a link over and this kind of shows you the traffic on this site on similar web uh, similar web is a uh, really powerful tool for looking at the uh, the site you can also use a new uh, site out there called nacho analytics and you can actually put this uh, site say doggy market dash market.com and uh, nacho analytics and that'll actually give you like about an 80 percent accurate uh google analytics in real time of what's going on with this site so it's uh, pretty legit you can check that out nacho analytics all right so uh, so now that you know what Com commerce inspector is you can see uh obviously it's got some features and stuff but it's pretty expensive you can only you pay like 49 bucks a month and you'll only only like really spy on like three stores i think I was taking a look at the pricing earlier. I don't, yeah, here it is, $49 for uh, subscribe to three shops and um, you can cancel any time, whatever, you want 10, you can pay 100 bucks. So, I mean, if you're really serious about drop shifting, which I'm gonna start getting a little bit more serious after my uh, info product's done for my affiliate marketing, uh, I might consider going to like the 49 or the 99 here and being able to spy on these stores really, really um, good. But we'll see, I haven't decided yet. All right, so, um, now let's go into my actual uh, Shopify store here, and um, basically if you're on the home page, now this is going to be if you want to block someone be, to being able to see your best sellers, okay? And it's just a little piece of code you got to put in. Uh, I saw somebody was on Upwork and they're charging like a bunch of money to do this, but it's really simple to do it yourself. So uh, you go down here to online store, and then you got to go into the actual code. Um, so you go down here to actions and you go down here to edit code and uh, you just go down here to this collection okay and if you have a certain themes or whatnot I think there's gonna be a bunch of stuff here but uh, I'll put this code in the blog uh, so you guys have it and all you got to do is just paste this code in here um, okay and notice here where the original code was okay that's where you're gonna put the code that was here originally okay now you can see I've already added 
um, you know, I got the copycat here, and then there was the original code from my site in here, and then the end. All right, so I'm just going to take this out, but I'll put this piece of code in the uh, in the um, blog post, so you can just grab it. And I, I set it up so it's actually code, and you'll be able to just paste it right in, and it should work just fine. Uh, but make sure you just follow the little instruction there that says take the original code you had and put it in there, and uh, that's all you got to do is click save and you're, and you're ready to go. And uh, then what will happen is if we go to uh, my store, for example, here, and we look at the rosewoodscene.com, this is one of my stores. I'm not really selling anything on it right now. We had that issue with the Chinese New Year, so I'm kind of ticked off at my uh, Shopify guy right now. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get it back on order. And notice here what it says, copycat. <laughs> so there's no bestsellers. It just says copycat. So, um, you know, it is what it is. That's uh, that's a little snippet of code in there. Once you put that in, you're good to go. But uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today. And uh, the Marketing Meathead will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.